guys. So I had put this out so that I could put his hands, like in the butterfly wings as I call them. I figured I could just use this to keep him warm instead and just use his towel. Just to show you guys really quick what I mean is I grab one corner, make sure his hand is down, and I tuck it underneath him. And now I wanna take off my ring so I don't wanna scratch him. And I'm going to grab this little arm and do the same. Just lift him up a little bit, tuck him in. Um, off camera, I kind of just already cleaned the area under here. Just loosened it up and enough to where I could put um, my finger through. And this tray tie is wet, so I want to get it off. Um, oh, sorry. Let's get him covered so he's not cold. This is the neck roll, put it underneath. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just weave one end, come around and weave the other. So then meanwhile with this hand, I'm holding right here, holding down this drake. And I'm going to weave this in, trying to be very careful because this is a little um, scratchy. I don't want to scratch him. And then just bring it around. And behind here, I still have a hold of the other, the old one, okay? So, um, got the old one. The trach is still in place. He's not giving me a hard time. I'm still holding the trach with my other fingers. And I'm using my top fingers. So, I'm gonna hook it back here. I'm still holding his trach. Weaving this through. And I'm trying not to hurt my child. And that's it. We got the old one off. It was all wet and drinky already. Um, I took off the trick ties. So, now what I'm going to do while I have them like this is put split gauze in between this area so that it doesn't, the plastic on this doesn't rub on his skin and cause irritation. So I'm trying to be kind of fast. Now let me, let me make sure that this is not too tight. You want to have enough for your pinky, which is a little loose. I'm sorry, puppy. He hates this, by the way. He hates it, hates it, hates it. I just kind of start off at the back end and then just pull it through. And then I'll just pull it to the very end. He's coughing a little bit, so I, I want to give him a little break. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he wanted a kiss. I need to. Okay, I'm going to put him, <laughs> I'm gonna put him back down. Have one more to go. I'm trying to be kind of quick here. Weave it through. Ah! as possible he does not like it like i said but he also doesn't like a rash okay get rid of this neck roll and then set him free there you go good job okay so this is pretty much done over here i don't need that okay, i'm gonna finish this little care you okay next i'm going to work on his little Mickey button area. I just need one split gauze. Yeah, I took out the trisamalong. And all this right here, nothing's dirty, so I'm safe to put it there. Um, I took out his trisamalong, but I wanna swap with him. Um, I'm going to put a little diaper rash ointment instead, because this one, I know this helps a lot more. I'm literally like still right here. Oh my god, I bathed him and he peed. He has a fresh diaper on. A clean little q tip, if you will. So I'm back over here and just put a little bit around his side just to keep uh, the zinc outside helps any irritation and moisture a little split gauze and then I like to put a little bit of the medical tape 
because if not, the split glass comes off and in his crib and I'm afraid like, I know he won't reach for it, but let's just say he accidentally gets in his hand, puts it in his mouth. I don't want that. All right, um, so now I'm gonna get him dressed. He has this down, this down. Oh, his little oil here. Just a little water. Open his little tongue, his, his, little, his little mouth. He just kind of, come on. Just lift his little tongue. I like to go like this when I'm inside because it has, I don't know if you can see, it has little ridges. So it's like a car wash in his mouth. <laughs> and he likes it. And it helps with the, his little white tongue. Okay. And then at the last, just kind of just do his lips. And close his eyes. Okay. So, oh, another thing I can show you guys is how I put his whole socks. Awesome. This is new, like I said, I change them weekly. And I, I'm still here, I'm literally in hands reach, so I'm not like, walking too far from him. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Life of a mom. Oh, throughout the day, we alt alternate. So he does have this for a week, but daily we switch foot so he had it on this foot earlier so I'm going to put it on this one and just make sure we don't do it too tight because I don't want to cut off his blood circulation a little fat little foot and then I bought these on Amazon um, they're just kind of little ankle holder of pole socks <laughs> um, and it helps just extend the life of the pole socks because if not, the more he kicks, this thing starts to get loose and then it doesn't get sticky. Then I have to use medical tape. So uh, one of the respiratory therapists recommended us to buy these and we get more time out of the pole socks because insurance only sends us like, twice, like two, I think it is, a month. Get his little socks on. The darkness of the socks also help the light. Uh, so I always try to keep socks on, but during the day, I don't put socks on him just so his little feet could breathe. So I'm gonna get his outfit on. My child's probably cold. And get his coconut oil on his little cheeks because he does have a little baby rash. The pediatrician said it's normal, but there's nothing we could pretty much do for him. So I've just been putting coconut oil and it's been helping. Um, and the aquaphor, I'll put a little bit of aquaphor underneath here. Or um, sometimes I put a little desitin just to help with the dryness. So I'm just gonna get him dressed and that's this part of it after bath care. Thank you for watching.